Hello, this is Jacob Avila, 5 Minutes Sona. We're going to continue on our ultrasound guided IV blog series by talking about who actually gets that ultrasound guided IV. Now, I'm a huge fan of ultrasound guided IVs, but I imagine some of you are fairly skeptical about the idea of this being the best way to get IV access in your patients. Here's the thing. So am I skeptical. I'm skeptical about all my patients getting these. I, I don't think that ultrasound guided IVs are necessarily the best way to get access on every single one of your patients. Let me explain. So first off, let's talk about the importance of getting access in your patients. Between 160 and 200 million IVs are started in the U.S. per year, and 70 to 85% of those, our nurses and paramedics and techs are able to get them in the first pass. So the, the first try, they get them the majority of the time. So not all patients need any help from you getting that ultrasound guided IV. There are a couple of situations in which I would not recommend getting the IV. Now, the first one is the paramedics, nurses, techs, whoever starts your IVs haven't at least tried first because statistically speaking, they're very likely to get that IV without any help from you. If they're actively coding, place that IO, come on. It's a very easy procedure. You get good access that way. You're essentially putting an IV in a huge non-compressible vein, which is the bone. So if you need it fast, just put that IO in. And lastly, if the patient has some time, so it's not super crucial that you get that IV access within the next, I don't know, two to three minutes, and you think the patient will eventually need a central line. Now remember, the patient needing large volumes or to give blood, that's not a reason for a central line. I can give larger volumes through a good 18 gauge in the AC rather than through the traditional central line, although of course it's pretty fast. There is a good summary in emupdates.com. So if we look down here, a typical central line, my flow rate is gonna be 52 mLs per minute for the distal ports and 26 mLs per minute in the uh, medial and proximal ports, the blue and the white. But look at this 18 gauge IV. Now this is the one I usually do if I'm doing ultrasound guided IVs. It's a longer angiocath, 85 mLs per minute. So significantly faster than the best that a traditional central line can do. Although that being said, if you are gonna put in a cortis, that flow rate's actually pretty fast. Now if you think they're gonna be impressors long term, then by all means put in that central line. But remember that you can also put in vasopressors through a peripheral IV. Now, this is a very brief topic, but I really want to emphasize that ultrasound guided IVs are not to be done in all patients. They're just those guys that at least two nurses have tried a total of three-ish times. So three tries by at least two different people, so three total is kind of like my criteria. Although that being said, if a patient comes in and I know them, I know they're a very difficult stick and I have some time, I will go ahead and just do the ultrasound guided IV to start with. So the reason I say if I have time is because, I don't know, I've done like a thousand IVs or something like that, ultrasound guided IVs. And even when I do it, it still takes me about five minutes from starting the procedure to taping the IV in place. So it still takes some time. And if I'm super busy, it will be more time efficient for me to have our nurses, paramedics, techs try that IV first because, you know, 85% first pass success. That's it for this week's 5 Minute Sono. Please feel free to send me an email or a tweet. And don't forget to subscribe. Go to blog5 slash subscribe. Put in your name and your email address in a little text box and never miss another video. And if you want these podcasts, these videos sent directly to your smart devices, type in 5 Minute Sono wherever you get your podcasts. Leave me a rating and review and subscribe. And guys, don't forget to check out CaboFest2018.com. It's a phenomenal conference. Here's the video. Check it out. Cabo was freaking amazing. Yeah, it was. It was so amazing that on the last day of Cabo Fest, we were already talking about the fact that we need to do this conference again next year. Absolutely. A perfect 72 degrees, constant sun, the beach, pools, margaritas, scanning. It added up to be one of the best experiences of our lives. Getting to hang out with you amazing people was definitely the best part, though, and we're still glowing from the experience. Of course, some of us got a little more intimate with the attendees than others. But in all seriousness, we had tons of fun with our families and the course participants, and the resort was totally incredible. Great food, beautiful views, and it was completely all-inclusive. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw the biggest party in the history of ultrasound parties. Next year, we found out that there's an amazing, all-inclusive resort that we can completely take over and own the entire place for a week. And we're going for it. Same incredible setting, same incredible instructors, just bigger. But to pull it off, here's what we're going to need from all of you. Tell everyone you know about Cabo Fest 2018 and tell them that we're giving them a discount if they register early. 10% off registration if they sign up before July 1st. 
And we're doubling down on the fun this year. We're snorkeling, scanning on a cruise ship, surfing, racing dune buggies in the desert, deep sea fishing, zip landing, and having faculty and attendee dinners every night. We swear, it's going to be the most fun you've ever had at an event. Seriously, if it's not the most fun you've ever had at a conference, then we'll refund your registration. Does that sound crazy? You're damn right that sounds crazy, but you don't understand. You haven't been there, so fix that and register now. Go to CaboFest2018.com. Oh yeah, you know what? We almost forgot. We're not the only ones that are going to be there. Check this out. We have Rob Rogers will be doing his fantastic teaching course. And yes, Master Educator Amal Matu will be there running an amazing ECG workshop. And there's going to be a lot more incredible educators coming. But more on that later. For now, register for Cabo Fest. And you know what else? You can sign up for some of the conference or you can sign up for the whole shebang. This is your vacation CME and we want you to customize it the way you like. So order your Speedo, slather on some tanning lotion and register now at CaboFest2018.com. See you there.